watching KHSD News. I'm Erin Briscoe Clark. This week we're at the Regional Occupational Center. Well, the programs here are designed to prepare students for the workforce and for some vet tech students when an emergency called they sprang into action. He may be tiny but this kitty is mighty. He was covered in fleas, he was mountain nourished, he was anemic, uh, it, he was really, really bad. Cheeto, named by the vet tech students for his bright orange coloring, is proving to be a miracle. Just last week, ROC students found the feral kitty clinging to life. He was in a bucket. They had carefully wrapped him in a blanket to try to keep him warm. Cheeto was taken to the vet tech program where students put their lessons into action with the help of instructors Dr. Ann Hudick and Desiree Rogers. She told me to check uh, the ears for most fleas and that's where most of the fleas were hiding to get away from everything. Um, to be gentle with him, not to overexert him to too much water, um, stuff like that. It was, it was an experience. Golden Valley High School senior Alejandra De La Torre took Cheeto home for a few days to give him some extra TLC. He's a fighter. He is. Now Cheeto is on the road to recovery to finding his forever home. Whoever gets this little guy is going to be very lucky. It turned into a great learning experience and we're very thankful that he made it and he's doing well. Dr. Hudick says in a few weeks, if Cheeto's healthy enough, he will be ready for adoption. Okay, now news from the district office. New teachers were given the tools they need to succeed. The first ever informational meetup was held in the boardroom. There was information on payroll, insurance, wellness, and a whole lot more. Author and teacher Jeremy Adams was the special guest and signed copies of his book, The Secrets of Timeless Teachers. KHSD News hit the road this week and visited Mr. Brian Atwater's broadcast journalism class at East Bakersfield High School. We discussed writing for broadcast and even anchored a newscast with the students. Keep up the good work and go Blades. Well, that's going to do it for this week's KHSD News. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and check out kernhigh.org. I'm Erin Briscoe-Clark. We'll see you next time.